You might have been like me back in the day. A little chubby, balding, shorter than average in America, and you didn't really understand how to rock your own looks. And this quick guide, I will go over how to maximize your aesthetics when you're a short manlet like me so you can look good, feel good, and feel more confident in your interactions and with yourself. Now, looks aren't everything, but this is the first thing people see when they interact with you, so let's make a good first impression. So in this guide, I'm going to go over how to build your aesthetic as a shorter man and what clothes you should be wearing and how you should carry yourself. So let's start out with exercise. Now, for the good news as a shorter man, it's going to be a lot easier to fill out your frame within a shorter time frame. You're going to need less muscle to look big because you can't hold as much muscle on your frame compared to your taller counterparts. So you can fill out your frame with significantly less calories, maybe 3,300 3, at your peak and less time in the gym than someone who is six foot. I go over this in more detail in my don't let manlets give you body dysmorphia video. So how to get absolutely huge when you're a shorter man. It's really simple. Follow my big boy basics guide on YouTube and get started. If you don't like that, expand your knowledge and you'll figure it out over time. But this will be the general gist of how to do it. Understand this is going to be a multi-year process. There are no quick results. But this program will help you build a very solid foundation and it's all for free in this video and you can download the template on my website. Now when you have a good solid foundation of muscle mass, you want to try to build your V taper, the Dorito back. With this, your shoulders are looking wider than your hips, giving you a larger appearance. For this, you need more back volume, you need more side delt volume in your typical training. A lot of people think the V taper is aesthetic, so you want to make sure your shoulders are going to be decently wider than your waist, so you might as well work on your shoulders a lot and add those in extra in your program. Now, I also recommend adding in more triceps, specifically the outer sweep on your tricep, the lateral head. While the long head is the meatiest, the lateral head helps give you that outer sweep when you're just standing there, making you appear wider again. I don't have any special exercises to target the lateral head. If you're following the programming steps in my Big Boy Basics program, you will have big triceps because you hit it in three different positions. So step one, multi-year process, build out your physique, Watch more YouTube fitness videos, spend time in the gym, put on muscle mass for three to five years. No shortcuts. The next step is to get lean. And I don't mean internet lean. I mean lean when you have a shirt and you don't have a belly sticking out like this. This is lean. You don't need a six pack despite what the internet tells you. You just don't want a gut. How old are you? You know, probably around my age or maybe a little bit younger considering most of my audience is around my age. The question is, why the hell do you have a gut? I mean, I have a small one right now, but this is a power pooch for the deadlift. This is not a gut. Plus, the lady likes it. But any bigger than this, it would look terrible. Any shirt you wear, the belly is going to be out. You don't want to look wider. I'm not talking about the V taper wider. I'm talking about the Homer Simpson wider. Then you are taller. The gut is not a good look. Get to a healthy body fat percentage, probably somewhere between 12 to 18% for men, like I've said. If you are within this range, and you have a decent amount of muscle mass, you will not be lean by internet standards, but you'll be lean in real life. You'll be lean considering most people are overweight. You'll be a healthy man that's huge. If you don't have a belly that sticks out in your shirts when walking around, you are at a good place. As a side note, don't think you need roids to get huge. Most women don't like roided bodybuilders. They don't like that physique. You can build a good physique naturally within a couple years if you are a shorter guy. Put on muscle, avoid the drugs, keep the long road in mind. Next, we need to worry about how we actually carry ourselves. Even if you have the best physique in the world, if you hunch all the time, you're talking like this, can't look people in the eyes while you're talking, who's going to like that? Who's going to want to talk to you? If you don't have any form of confidence, none of this is going to help you. Having good physique is not going to help you. These stack on each other, the way you carry yourself, how you look, how you dress, it all stacks on each other. I'm not seeing be an arrogant dick, but have some respect for who you are, walk with your back straight, be courteous, and be kind to others. Look at the person in front of you when you talk to them. It all makes the difference. To help carry yourself better, you need to do these things. And we also need to be honest with ourselves that clothes matter. Now, I'm not saying an outfit makes a man, but I promise if you dress better, you will carry yourself with more confidence. Now, the problem as a shorter man, something I've been struggling with over a long time, is finding clothes that actually fit. I'm not really talking about shirts, I don't mind them tight, but it's the pants. Finding pants like jeans that fit your short legs and wide hips are really hard to find. So you end up with either like loose pants around the waist to compensate for the big thighs, the big butt, 
or you find long pants that make you look shorter than you actually are since it's bunching up at the bottom. It's terribly difficult to find anything that actually fits within a decent price range. Do not wear pants that bunch up at the bottom. Your legs are already short. Don't make them look shorter with the optical illusions the bunch up at the bottom of the pants makes when you have very large pants. The more jacked you get as a short dude, the harder it is is going to find fitting pants. Now, I've tried a decent amount of different of athletic jeans and other pants. I've tried the athletic gaps. They were like 80 bucks. They didn't fit great. I tried a bunch of Levi's, very expensive, also kind of mediocre, and I've tried a lot. I've tried some random Amazon brands, also kind of poopy. So I'm going to give you some good and bad news. If you're a shorter individual like me, you need to learn how to hem pants or know someone or go to a tailor to hem pants. I've been searching for ages for pants that fit me nicely that aren't like $100 since I'm going to rip them anyways and that also accommodate for my legs and butt. And so far, I have never found a pair of pants that fit perfectly. Paying someone to hem your pants is not expensive and it's an expense you should consider if you want fitting clothes because then you could buy a larger size and cut off the bottom, especially if you're larger in your lower area like me. With that disclaimer out the way, I actually do have a treat for you guys that struggle finding fitting pants in the thigh department. I still have to hem some of these, but a lot of them are the best fit I've found. On Amazon, you are going to look for Lee's Extreme Motion. Now they have a lot of different sizes available, specifically like the 29 length for a lot of men. This still may be too long for some of you, but these are the only pants that I can find that fit my legs appropriately with my waist and that don't rip at the crotch within like a month. A lot of the jeans have this special diamond shaped stitching that allows the jeans to be more flexible and they're also made with flexible material so they're a lot stretchier. I'm not sponsored by these pants but they are literally the only jeans I buy now. I mean look at my closet you can see my old gap jeans and then it's just Lee's and then old work pants I have. I've tried a lot of athletic type jeans. If you also need to wear fancier pants like me I have some khakis and some work slacks they also have Lee's men's extreme comfort slim pant which is a more stretchy material. It doesn't have the diamond stitching, but they do stretch pretty well, and I've only ripped one pair so far within a year, so that's a lot better. These have lasted me a lot longer than any other type of khakis. They do have some 28 and 29s available in length. If you need shorter, like I said, you definitely need to find a tailor, my friend. In the description, I do have an affiliate link for these pants as well. Again, I'm not sponsored, but these are the only long pants I buy. And that's really the major points for being an aesthetic as a short guy. Get big, but not too big with drugs, right? be at a healthy body fat percentage, and then carry yourself well, and then wear good fitting clothes. Of course, I skipped a bunch of stuff, you know, take care of your skin, find a nice hairdo, find a style that works for you, work on your charisma and your personality. This is really the basics for being socially successful, so I don't need to go over them. But if you can do these things, you are already ahead of most of the population, since most of the population can't even take care of themselves now. And taking care of yourself is attractive in its own right when most of society is sick. Now, will getting jacked as a manlet actually help with dating? Watch the video here to find out. Peace.